All right, guys, so the lore of Cookie Run Kingdom has been going on for almost three years now with the third anniversary coming very, very soon. And in this video, I kind of compiled all of the first beginning story with the new Beasties uh, story that has been introduced with the first trailer video talking about the fallen heroes or the beast. And I just kind of compiled it and, uh, you know, uh, made it into a clip full-on clip where it kind of shows the timeline of what has really taken place and now from the start of the creation of the first cookies all the way uh, introducing the witches and then now to the uh, you know creation of the fallen uh, heroes or the beast and then them being locked away by the witches for their wrongdoing in the beasties all the way up to the part where now the five of the ancient cookies were born and the war uh, with Dark Enchantress, the Dark Flower War, and now all the way up to the part where Ginger Brave and his crew with the new uh, kingdoms or the new generation of cookies, uh, you know, going into the beasties. So I wanted to kind of compile the story for you guys and let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the story, what you guys think about the lore as of right now. And then also the last part, I kind of overlooked it uh, in the beginning, but now we were able to see White Lily's voice acting as well here and talking about how she wants to know the truth. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think and enjoy the clip. How did the first cookies come to be? And there's a tale as old as the world, the tale of the first kitchen. Once upon a time, a time no cookie recalls, lived three wise witches in their kitchen by the stove. They kept a precious recipe, the recipe for power and wisdom. When the time came, they gathered in the kitchen. Colorful sugar crystals, silky butter, moonlight, and mysterious whispers. For four days and nights, they mixed and mixed until they had a mountain of dough with only one ingredient left to add, a small pinch of life powder the most potent ingredient to bring any dessert to life. When the first cookies came out of the oven baked, they chirped at the witches like little birds. Will you feed us? Will you feed us? No, but instead we will have you for dinner. Sweet little cookies, in fear they fled. But the witch's legs were like pillars, and like snares were their fingers. And the cookies were so small, so frail. Only one cookie, fast and tiny, made it past the witch's grasp. And so this cookie ran and ran, until their body crushed and crumbled, until the very end. But was it truly the end? No. Many have forgotten that the story goes on. The leftover dough from that fateful night, discarded by the three witches, baked to perfection under the hot sunlight. And this is how the very land we live upon came to be. Is this the truth or just a legend? No cookie is here to tell. In the distant past, when the chaos of iron and flame still reigned. Five cookies were baked by the witches. Radiant beings graced with wisdom and power unparalleled. The five were destined to reshape the tempestuous world and usher in a new era of peace, prosperity, and enlightenment for all. Alas, great power always begets corruption. One by one, their will crumbled under the weight of their own strength. Once promised saviors, the five became twisted apostles of evil and brought forth darkness and devastation. The witches could not bear to watch the calamity that had befallen the precious land of their creation. They punished the five by sealing them away in the remote continent of Beast Yeast. 
and scattered across the world vestiges of their power, yet untouched by shadow, the Soul Jam, in hopes that a new batch of heroes would learn to resist the temptations of such strength and put it to a better use. In the distant past, after the chaos of iron and flame subsided, many creatures, baked by the witches, scattered across the world. Among them were the five, five cookies graced with soul jam of the purest kind, saviors to all cookies throughout the world, with infinite wisdom, and unmatched power, they rallied others to their cause. As kings and queens, they ruled the cookies, bringing in a golden age of peace and prosperity. But this age was not fated to last. A harbinger of darkness appeared and let shadow and evil infest the land. The spark of war soon flared upon the horizon. Do you remember how life powder breathed life into the cookies? But it was not only cookies upon whom life had been bestowed. From the dark, horrendous cake monsters were born. They marched across the land, sowing darkness and fear. They crumbled the cookies' frail bodies, leaving a trail of dark, burnt flour behind. And once more, the world erupted into chaos. But the five cookie heroes, guardians of peace, have risen. Twilight falls, and the war for the cookies' destiny has begun. No cookie was able to defeat them. On the fateful night of the crescent moon, when a leviathan shadow hung over the vanilla castle, one by one, the great heroes fell. And when the dark harbinger appeared, only the champion of the vanilla kingdom was left standing on the battlefield. I wish to seek the truth. Cookie Run Kingdom. <laughs>